So, you've been promoted to staff. Congratulations! However, now that you're staff, you're gonna have okay? to learn the tools of the trade. So that means you're gonna have to learn commands. Which, believe me, isn't as hard as it may seem. The most used commands for punishments are warns, kicks, and bans. Now, the way we do um, warns, kicks, and bans is you do exclamation point warns, exclamation point kick, or exclamation point ban, the name, and then the reason. The other commands we use are teleportation commands, such as exclamation point return, exclamation point go to, exclamation point send, exclamation point tp, exclamation point ring, I believe. The other commands that we use are commands we use on ourselves, like exclamation point god, um, no clip, and all that jazz rooney. For the final string of commands that we use, we use um, punishment commands, such as slaying, um, such as exclamation point jail, exclamation point slap, exclamation point slay, um, exclamation point jail tp. And I think that's about it. The way now for most of the commands we have an an un to the command. So let's say you exclamation point jail somebody. There's also an exclamation point unjail. There's also um, ungod and I think that's just about it. Now the way we do no clip is slightly different from the other commands. The way that we prefer to do it would be going in console. Um, typing bind, whatever key you want, in this case I will use J, um, parentheses ULX no clip, parentheses. That way you can be able to fly without um, any anything typing in chat. This can be used on any key, even mouse keys if you want. You can also bind um, every command to this, except for things that would need that would be more subjective. But you could bind jail at um, God yourself, ungod yourself, and all that lovely jubblies. I'll be sure to explain this more in one-on-one -on -one training. Now that you know how commands work, it's time for our next subject, and that is the punishment system which hopefully you have a general idea of if you have 24 hours on the server. Now, the punishment system is divided into three sections. Warns, kicks, and bans. Now, the warnable offenses are RDM, NLR, metagaming, self-supply, fail RP, blah blah blah, prop spam, prop block, prop minge, player and staff disrespect, just loads of different things. Um, there's also fading door abuse, stun stick abuse, and sometimes L tap, but we're gonna go more into that when I talk about bannable offenses. Kicking really shouldn't be used in most situations. It's very, very situational, but most of the time you should only be doing warns and bans. And now we get on to the interesting stuff. Bans. Now, the only three bannable offenses are LTAP, which is leaving to avoid punishment, um, hack, threatening to hack or DDoS or dox any of the players, or just being the absolute worst minge you've ever imagined. So, um, number of warns, which I will go into a little bit later. Congratulations! You now know everything that you should do, but now you have to learn everything that you shouldn't do. So, what wouldn't you be able to do as a staff member? Well, you can't use any commands while RPing. You cannot RP as a trial mod. Um, for every eight players, there has to be one staff member on. You cannot player or stat disrespect. If you have an issue with a staff member, um, report it on the forums. You cannot choose not to follow a rule that's enforced. You have, if you want a rule change, report it on the forums. Um, 
you, you really can't break, obviously you can't break any of the standard rules while being a staff member, it should be obvious at this point. You also cannot, and finally, you cannot, um, let anybody go past the rules. So like, let's say, one person shoots a guy you don't like. You can't let the guy go because he shot a guy you didn't like. And that's just about it. However, while you've learned everything you need to know from this video, there are two other places you need to go to. Now, the other places you should look are obviously the Dark RP Staff Guidelines, which goes into a lot more detail and is the official guide, so obviously I don't want to make a video in um, where I don't point this out in case I miss anything, but you have to read all of this all of this when you become a staff member or you will mess up. You should al you also have to read the post made by me, um, okay it's time for things to change because it clarifies a lot of things that were a gray area in the um, actual guidelines. Other than that, that's just about it, so... Um... Th I am Pugler and I am leaving now. What?